Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I'm going to be working on the VQ35. It's been sitting down here for a few months now. Just going to be tearing it apart, getting all the good bits, and just um, cleaning up this area, get rid of it so we can get stuck into the K24. Stay tuned, guys. in here as well we'll make our way down to the engine boys didn't end up doing anything last night ended up just watching game of thrones so we get stuck into the bq35 start pulling it apart also got the bumper to do as well so I'll probably put some filler on that first up and then we'll get stuck into this all right guys so we're going to start with probably the intake i'm going to move that off to the side sort through the bottom end it's already been taken off, so the pan, stuff like that, clean it up. We won't clean it up today, but um, might clean it up and sell it if I can. And obviously the throttle body's on there too still, guys, so yeah. So I'll move this saw out of the way, the jack, put my um, drill bag somewhere, move these batteries off to the side. I am going to be doing it all on that little red dolly that it's on. We do have another engine stand, but can't be bothered. Um, don't need to get under it because everything's all taken off the bottom, as you can see. But yeah, I'll probably set you up on the Mazda. Right, it's going to put some WD-40 on the bolts for the exhaust, so when I get to it, it's uh, hopefully a bit easier to get off. Oil pan's still good, just needs a good clean up. Um, so if anyone's got a dented one, they could purchase this. That's good. Actually, I'll see if the thread's alright. Thread is good as well. I think. Alright guys, just going through the bottom end, um, I'm just keeping all the bolts, it's always a good thing to have spare bolts around, you never know when you're going to use them. Um, windage tray, looks like it was under the coolant, and it's just gunked up, so it's not even worth looking at. Um, pick up, it's got junk in behind the, the strainer, so junk yeah just chuck all the box in the container put salt from later if I need to it's 
all their end cap for the rods. So all the we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've even taken the box off the end caps. Um, but yeah, they're all rusted and crunch. The um the bearings are rusted in, so junk. why somebody would want these bottom ends is I guess if a, a rod came out and damaged it. So I'm just going to take the pressure sender off. Probably need a clean up but take that off. And um, get those bolts out. And I'll put that to the side. That's just junk. It's not junk, but you know what I mean. No one's going to buy the bottom end. They'll just buy a whole engine. Um, but yeah, we'll take that pressure switch out. And then we'll move on to the engine. So I've got an engine mount as well, which is cracked. So that's junk as well. In front of a big box, put all the junk in. short throw dipsticks it always um I don't know why I've shortened it to make it faster and it's always saying that it's slow <sighs> can't even get it in You might have, might remember, I swapped these over into my one. Um, I thought that was the issue, but it was just an error that I couldn't erase. So these are still good. If you've got an intake, you're gonna have these, so there's no point. lower intake plenum. Once they clean underneath. Alright boys, just been trying to get this crank pulley off and I can't. It took me years to get the bolt off because the crank's seized, but the bolt must be seized in there as well. So, I'm going to start taking off brackets, take off the, um, the cam covers, these ones here, bracket, that's for alternator. Don't quote me on that, I know power um, ACs over here. Um, and I'll take the valve covers off and we can have a look inside the engine for the first time to see uh, how bad it really is. So this will show the timing chain. Taking these covers off. So yeah. 
have a look inside first. Alright, so if you're ever doing this, this um, crossover pipe for the breather, it's so brittle, you might break it. It's probably best if you heat it up. Alright, so I've got that hose off. Just looking if there's any other brackets or anything. Nope. Just all these 10 mils. There it does. <laughs> Not just plastic. Yeah. Seal looks good too. Rusted. All right, so we got rust on the camshafts. Gonna do the same to the other side. You guys are nearly flat, so I'll put you guys on charge. Right, I've turned it down a little bit more. Um, this left hand side of the engine uh, is a lot worse with the rust. Look at that on the lobes there. It's really bad. The gunk. So taking the intake off. Look at all the crap in the intake. I haven't actually looked at the valves yet, but I took the wiring harness off for the knock sensor down there. I'll get the knock sensor out. And taking all the injectors off. So all the intake. And yeah. I'll get that knock sensor off. Oh, the valves. Oh. I uh, depends if they open or closed or not. But oh no, somebody put crap down. This one here, this first one looks rusty. <laughs> yeah, probably. Might not even take the exhaust manifolds off. This one's holding it onto the dolly. <laughs> um, but if someone's got a VQ35, they're going to have these. So, yeah. Let's get some more nuts and bolts. I did end up taking the heat shield off. I got four of the nuts off. That's all I'm getting. I just wanted these them. nuts. And got myself a lot of 10 mil bolts. So off the front casing there. And along here. Yeah, just been looking in here while I've, I was taking the nuts off, and this is pretty bad. <laughs> so, one thing to take away from this if your head gasset does go, don't leave it sit, drain it and flush it out so this does not happen and then you can take your time to get to it. Now I did take the bolt out here, this is a little water reservoir, maybe, could be oil. <laughs> but yeah, next time you see this engine guys, uh, I'll probably be taking it to the scrap metal place along with some Forrester Autos. So we can clear out some space. And this junk here. <laughs> so I've pretty much kept the sensors, um, fuel rail, injectors, um, intake as well, and throttle body. 
So if any of you guys need them, just hit me up, comment down below, or head over to my Instagram and um, DM me. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. I'll catch you next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.